We got a Mern's quail. Gorgeous bird. Well, we're hunting the Montezuma quail today, which is also known more commonly as the Mern's quail. The highest population of Mern's quail in the U.S. is in the southern part of Arizona. They also are located in the southern part of New Mexico and West Texas. The total population of Mern's quail is right around one and a half million with only 10% actually living in the U.S. So the majority do live in old Mexico. It's still dark, so it still has a lot of moisture in the ground. Oh yeah. So that's, that's what they do to get their food. Tubers. Tubers, um, some little, um, they call it oxalis, or um, oxalis is the species name, but yeah, that's what they're after. Generally a couple inches yeah. deep? Yeah, 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 that's about it. It'll look, just look like a little, that little fist-sized hole. And when a cubby's been around, you'll just see, they'll just look go all crazy, over. especially under these oaks. The Mern's population is affected a lot by moisture, and then also how the grazing practices happen in the area to where they live. On dry, moisture years, the grass doesn't get as tall, which affects the breeding for the future year. So if you have a dry year, usually the population the next year is lower, or if you have a heavy moisture year, usually the population's heavy the next year. If you get a couple years to have good moisture, it means the population of Mern's quail is gonna go up. See you get distracted by the camera. 